what's the story with the new CFO and uh, how does Google look right now? It's a really interesting appointment. Anna Ashkenazi was at Eli Lilly for 23 years. She'd served as Eli's uh, CFO from 2021, uh, had quite broad responsibility uh, over uh, the commercial business, other business PL leaders. And as you said, Ruth Porat announced last July that she would step down from the CFO role. And in the interim, she has been acting as president and also chief investment officer, more broadly thinking about how Alphabet and, and Google invest in the infrastructure needed for artificial intelligence, but also engaging with regulators, thinking about uh, Alphabet's uh, or Google's moonshot bets, its other investments in more nascent technology areas. And that's where Anna Ashkenazi coming in as CFO is quite interesting. Our colleagues at Bloomberg Intelligence, particularly Mandeep Singh, have this idea in their reaction note that this kind of lines up really well with some of the parallel areas Google's looking at, namely healthcare. You know, there is a high degree of overlap between the work being done on large language models and drug discovery or, uh, you know, looking at genetics, DNA, uh, assessing treatments for, for rare diseases. So that could be an area that she comes in. But I've been asking Ruth Porat every quarter for a whole year who's going to replace her, and we finally have our answer, and the stock's up eight tenths of a percent in reaction.